Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how to prepare map layout. In last lesson we have seen how to download this digital elevation model. So I have shown how to download digital elevation model. If you miss this video, you can watch it how we can able to download the digital elevation model. So after downloading the digital elevation model, we can classify this stem. Okay. So if you'll go to symbology, you can able to change the color or everything we can change from here. Okay. So like a classes we can change. So this is a digital elevation model and you can able to see the value here. It is indicating that the red portion is having highest elevation and this color indicating that there is a lower elevation. So I'm interested to prepare a map layout for the digital elevation model. You can take any map, whatever the map you want to create a map layout. So I will show an example here, how you can able to create a map layout or you can able to follow for any map. Okay. So for that, I will just close this. Okay. So when you'll add your map here, that time you just need to go to insert and there is option new layout okay so just click on the new layout so what kind of layout you want okay like a5 then later then you want landscape okay so whatever the format you want you can take from here i will take a later here okay and i want landscape so i'll take a landscape here if you want to change a properties okay from here if you want to change little bit properties what are the properties you want to change you can change from here and after that like i'm interested to add a margin here okay so particular margin i'm interested to add so if you we'll click here on the margin okay so you just need to right click and there is a add guides option is there this is for single and this is for multiple so click on the add guides so you want to add vertical line or horizontal line. So I'm, I want to add both line vertical as well as horizontal. So I'll select a both and I'll just click on okay. So now we can able to move this wherever I want to move. So again, I will add one line here and so just, so just right click and add guide. Okay. So just right click, add guide. So what I'm going to do, I will just add title, all these things here and here we can able to add a map. Okay. We can able to add a map. So to add a map here, just click on the map frame and from here we can able to add this map. What are the map we can able to see here? That map we can able to add here. So just click on the, this and now it is changed to plus icon so just left click on your mouse and you can drag like this okay so we have added a map here so we can right click and click on zoom to layer so we can zoom to that layer okay so after that if you want to change it little bit if you want to shift it somewhere okay so like you want to move it you can move it but if you want to move inside one whatever the things are inside and if you want to move little bit there then you just need to go to then you just need to go to layout and active option is there once you'll click on the active you can able to move your map okay if you want to make a little bit zoom or anything that you can that also you can able to do by using your scroll so after this finish what you can able to do you can just again come to layout and close activation okay whenever you want to move your map you just need to go to layout and activate so once it is activated then you can able to move otherwise when it is deactivated you can't able to move inside map okay so after that we can able to add many things from here okay so like you want to add grids okay so just click on the grids and we can insert a grids to the map after that you can shift it little bit desire you want and if you want to change the properties of it you just select this 
black vertical labels. You can go to properties and from here you can able to change all the properties. Okay, what are the uh, latitude longitude you want to show? After that, many things we can able to change here. Okay, so after this, I'm interested to add title here. So we can add title from here. Just click here and add like this and then we can able to type here okay that is elevation map so after selection this we can able to go to we can able to go to text and from here we can able to change the size of it like you want to select a Times New Roman or anything, you can select Times New Roman. Then we can increase the size of it. And I'm also interested to change the color. Okay. So if you want to add it as a vertical, okay. Then what we can able to do? We can able to select this, okay. By from clicking here, we can able to select this and we can able to do like this and we can able to shift it here so after adding a title i'm interested to add north arrow okay so just take from the insert just click on the north arrow and you can choose your favorite north arrow and just add it here after that i'm interested to I'm interested to add these legends. Okay. So just click on the legends. Just click on the legends and you can able to take your legends, whatever the kind of legends you want. Okay. So after adding a legends, I'm interested to modify these legends. So just right click and convert to graphic option is there. Again, right click and ungroup. So from here, again, I will ungroup. I want to change this. I want to just change this as a elevation in meter. Okay. So I want to add elevation in meter and I can label to shift this. Again, I will select all this and I can group this. Okay. So after that, I can able to move it anywhere. So after adding the legend, we can able to add a scale bar here. So just click on the scale bar and you can take your favorite scale bar and just add here. Okay. If you'll right click and if you'll go to properties from here, you can able to change the offset. Suppose you don't want that much of number. You can reduce it. Okay. So we have added a scale, then also we have added the legend, the north arrow, then title, all these things we have added here. And now I'm interested to export this map. Okay. Again, I will add one more guide here. Okay. So now I'm interested to export this map. So to export this map, share option is there. And from here, we can able to export layout. So you want to export it as a JPG, PDF, what format you want, you just click here. And provide the quality, what are the quality you want. Like from here, you can able to change the DPI. From here, we need to select a folder where I want to save this file. So I will add here elevation map. So just click on the save. After that, you can just click on the export. So this map will be export. Okay. And suppose if you want to do any changes in the future, you can save your project. Okay. Save project as and I will save here map 
layout elevation so this project will be saved so in future if you want to do any changes in this project we can able to change and suppose if you want to do any changes so like you want to change a scale or north arrow or anything if you click on that so it will be highlighted here and if you right click go to properties you will see the properties of this okay so elevation map of study area you can able to add then also if you select the this then it will highlight here so let will see our map so this is the elevation map which we have exported and here you can able to see what are the map we have added we have exported it so this way very easily we can able to create an any map so you just need to change your map so this time i have shown you for the elevation you can able to add slope map and also you can able to create a so same layout you can able to do for that map also so you have saved this layout so you can able to use this layout again and again so you just need to change a map here okay so if you are having any doubts you can just ask me in the comment sections our telegram group link is given in the description box if you are interested you can join thank you